Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the video, and today we're going to be talking about 11 Bannerlord perks that double your gains. Let's get right to it. First, we have the one-handed perk at level 100 called Duelist, and uh, this one pretty much gives you double renown from tournaments. So if you didn't know, whenever you, you participate in tournaments and you win, you gain renown as one of your prizes. You also gain uh, influence and um, obviously the prize of the tournaments, and any dinars that you bet. But this uh, perk gives you double the renown. And the renown is calculated um, based on how many different uh, tournament stages you are in. Sometimes tournaments uh, put you in three stages, four stages, uh, sometimes even five stages. And um, your renown goes up the more stages there are. And obviously with this perk, it is doubled. Second, we have the polearm perk at level 225 called Unstoppable Force. Now this not only doubles, but triples the Couch Lance damage versus shields. Now, what does this mean? So Couch Lance is an ability that you can do whenever you are on horseback and you have a polearm that has Couch Lance in its description. The description I mean is whenever it says the weapon, you usually have a little thing in an orange bubble that says either it's one-handed, two-handed, and whenever it's a polearm, it will state if it has the Couch Lance ability. Now, this ability lets you just um, press the X button if you are on PC. It's a little bit different on consoles. But all it does is you press the X button while you're holding the weapon and your character will pretty much point it forward. And all you have to do is just run towards an enemy and it will get and the enemy will get attacked by that polearm. So you don't actually have to really aim, just run straight at the enemy and they will get damaged by your polearm. It's a very easy way, it's kind of like auto aim really. And um, this perk lets you do uh, triple damage versus shields, which pretty much breaks a lot of shields if they're not at high level. If if the enemy does not have a high level shield. Third, we have a crossbow perk at level 200 called Long Shots. Now, what does this let you do? It lets you double the zoom on crossbow. So if you want to really get an enemy from really really far away, this lets you uh, pretty much see them um, a lot better with the double zoom feature. It says 100% zoom, but double 100%, whatever you want to call it. Pretty much it makes your crossbow kind of like a sniper if you would uh, see it that way You don't get a scope, but you can see further away Fourth we have the throwing perk at level 200 called splinters again This is a triple damage not just double but triple damage versus shields whenever you use throwing axes so This is very similar to the polearm perk at level 225 called unstoppable force But instead of the couch lance damage versus shields now if you have throwing axes um, you can pretty much break shields very easily by throwing a couple of throwing axes at the shield. This is very good if you're getting up close to personal. You throw a couple of throwing axes, break their shield, and then if you have a shield that you can switch to, all of a sudden you have the advantage the enemy has no shield and you have a shield. So very good, especially if you're doing, you know, very close quarters or, you know, a fight, 1v1 fight uh, in the battles. Fifth, we have an athletics perk at level 225 called Strong Legs. Now, all this really does is it doubles your kick damage. So if you didn't know, in Bannerlord, you can kick slash um, bash if you have a shield equipped, right? And what this does is it's an attack that staggers your um, opponents and gives you time to land a good attack on them. Now, with this perk, it actually makes the kick do quite a bit of damage. And the kick is very good if you're on a, in a 1v1 scenario, let's say in a prison break, let's say in a tournament, uh, things of that nature. If you want to get a good hit on the opponents and you want to stagger the opponents just for a little bit, um, the kick is a great way to do it. On PC, it is just by pressing the, um, the button E. But um, on councils, I don't know exactly what button it is, but um, you can obviously customize it to your liking. Sixth, we have the roguery perk at level 50 called Deep Pockets. Now, this doubles the amount you can bet on tournaments. So if you want to actually make a good amount of money early on on tournaments and you, you know, you're very good at, you know, the, your fighting capabilities in Bannerlord, go to a lot of tournaments, have this enabled and do the max bet and obviously you're going to get double the amount for your bets uh very simple very easy very good way to make money especially early on since it's a it's pretty much a level 50 roguery which isn't very hard to get early on in the game seventh we have the charm perk at level 250 called camaraderie and this pretty much doubles the relationship gained after helping a lord in battle so whenever you see a lord in battle whether it's your um friend or if it's just a random two lords fighting and you choose a side, 
uh, whoever you help out whenever the battle is done and you obviously win it unless you lose it then you don't really get the relationship but if you do win it then the relationship you would gain um, actually is doubled with that lord this is a very good uh, perk to get obviously it's all the way at level 250 but towards the end of the game you will be engaging in a lot more fights if you're taking over territory so it is a very good addition to have if you want to gain a lot of uh, relations which will help out with um you know if you're a vassal help out with future votes um, where you know lords will vote for you because they have the better relationship with you and also if you want to recruit them recruit different lords around the map uh, having good relationship with those lords is always a great thing to have eighth we have the leadership perk at level 225 called make a difference now this doubles the morale to troops whenever you kill an enemy in battle so if you didn't know morale during a battle um it gets affected in many different ways right so you can lose morale in um in a battle and your troops can lose morale in a battle whenever let's say one of their um units in their formation dies one of the units close by to them dies but they also gain it whenever let's say they kill an enemy in battle or one of the units in their formation kills an enemy in battle and also whenever you the leader kills an enemy in battle it gives your troops morale it gives your troops you know more will to fight and this pretty much doubles that morale so if you get a lot of kills in battle uh this is a very very good perk to get that will make your troops fight a lot better they won't desert you because you know all the all the extra morale they're gonna get they're gonna pretty much fight till the end with you ninth we have the trade perk at level 75 called distributed goods and this pretty much doubles the relationship gain with resolved issues with artisans so what are artisans so every single town has one artisan he's one of the nobles uh, you can see who the artisans are by just scrolling over the nobles name at the top and then you can see um, their type and usually it will either say merchant gang leader or artisan those are the three types of uh, different notables inside of a town so uh, if you get this perk you will double the relationship gain whenever you complete a quest for the artisan 10th we have the other side of the coin at the trade level of 75 we have the perk local connection so if you did not choose distributor goods you have the choice of local connection now what does this do so this doubles the relationship gain with resolved issues with merchants so like i stated before merchants are notables inside of towns and there are actually more merchants than artisans since there's only one artisan per town now you might be wondering why would i ever choose um to you know gain double relationship whenever i do quests for artisans instead of merchants since there's more merchants well both of these uh, perks have a secondary effect distributed goods has minus 15 percent uh price penalty when buying from villages and then uh, local connection has minus 15 percent price penalty while selling animals so depending on what you do in your playthrough, those are your choices. But if you're going off straight relationship gain, I suggest you pick local connection because obviously inside of a town, you usually have two mar uh, merchants and one artisan. So again, local connection, trade level 75, you gain double relationship whenever you complete a quest for the merchants or the notables inside of the town. 11th we have the steward perk at level 175 called gourmet now this doubles the morale bonus from having diverse number of food so if you didn't know if you have a lot of different types of food you gain a lot of steward but not only that you gain a lot of morale bonus uh between your troops and your party morale is very important so you know it's good to keep it up there now this will give you double the morale bonus for having a diverse number of food which is very 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 good in terms of uh how much you know morale you have and obviously if your morale is low uh troops will desert troops will not fight for you till the end but if your, your morale is as close to 100 as possible uh your troops will always fight with you